Cloud logging empowers you to manage, analyze, monitor, and alert on logging data and events in real time. However, there are times you may want to collect and store logs in a different place for later analysis. This is where log syncs can be really helpful. In this video, you'll learn more about what log syncs are, when you can use them, and how you can create them at project, folder, or organization level. Log syncs give you the power of choice and control over where your logs are stored. They can be stored in cloud logging or exported to other Google Cloud products for analysis. Log syncs allow you to route logs to these supported destinations. Let's understand how log syncs work. The logs router receives logs as they arrive, and then for each log sync, the log router compares the log to the filters on the sync. When a match occurs, the log is routed to the destination specified by the log sync. A log can match filters in multiple log syncs. You can use log syncs for several scenarios. For example, to enhance your querying ability, to store the logs long term, or to stream logs to a third party. You can also configure log syncs to exclude a class of logs that you don't need to store. All right, now let's take a look at a couple of real scenarios where log syncs can be useful. Imagine you have virtual private connection or VPC flow logs enabled on multiple projects. You'd like to easily query and run analytics on these logs in one place. The best way to achieve this is to create a log bucket in a project dedicated to storing logs. Then configure a log sync to send all VPC flow logs from all projects to that bucket. From there, you can upgrade the log bucket to log analytics, which gives you many querying and analytics functionalities. Now let's say you don't need your logs in cloud logging, but you still want to query the logs data along with other app and business data that only exists in BigQuery datasets. In that case, you directly send your logs to BigQuery. Let's now dive into a demo and create a log sync to route logs to BigQuery in Google Cloud Console. Before we begin, make sure the BigQuery dataset that you like to route the logs to is created. Since we like to create an aggregated sync at organization level, we need to create the sync at the organization logging page. Specify a name and clear description for your sync. Select BigQuery as the destination type. Now, you may notice that when we try to select the specific BigQuery dataset, it's asking for the absolute path of the dataset. The dataset we like to use in this case is called VPC Flow Logs and is in Project Central Logging. You can choose to partition your data by day to improve query performance. Don't forget to make this an aggregated sync by selecting the option to apply this configuration to all child resources. Now we get to the exciting part. Here, we can configure which group of logs we want to include in the sync and what subset of those we would like to exclude, if any. VPC flow logs have a specific log name. Ensure to include that in the filter. It's recommended that you try and preview the logs and verify the filter is working correctly. However, since we are at organization level, we don't expect to see any matches. If you know that there's a subset of VPC flow logs that don't provide a lot of value and are not needed for analyzing the logs data, then you can add an exclusion filter to exclude those logs from being routed to the destination dataset and avoid unnecessary charges. Click Create Sync. But we're not done yet. For the logs to show up in BigQuery, make sure the unique identity writer or the sync service account has the necessary permissions to write logs to the destination dataset. To do this, copy the unique identity writers or the sync's account ID. Navigate to the BigQuery dataset on the destination project. Click on Share and assign the unique identity writer the BigQuery data editor role. Let's verify if the logs are getting exported to BigQuery. Click on VPC Flow Logs dataset and then on Preview. Woohoo! All the logs are coming in. To learn more about log syncs, check out the following documentation. Thanks for watching.